going back around five years, um, I was studying full-time to be a paramedic. I was working full-time in emergency services and uh, married with two young kids, uh, one and three years old. I suffered a, a fairly traumatic event um, outside of work, which hit me pretty hard. And at the same time, uh, my sister died uh, very traumatically and suddenly and emotionally, I didn't know how to handle that and I couldn't deal with it. Um, I couldn't talk about it with my friends or my wife even. And it ended up being numb and uh, feeling very much alone, like I didn't know anyone and nobody knew me because they couldn't understand what I was going through. I had plans, I wanted to, to become a paramedic and I wanted to watch my kids grow and all these sorts of things and, and all I could see was uh, this, this black hole, I could just see more darkness, more depression, uh, an inability to get close to people or really express who I am to people. Um, I couldn't see how to go from this hole that I was in to anything better and I couldn't see a way out, I couldn't see a plan that involved not being this numb person. You know, um, not a good place and, and not a good future, like not something that I would want to look forward to. It was, it was depressing. <laughs> it was awful. One of the things that happened was this, this song that Caleb wrote and I could never actually sing the pro song properly before it had upset me. I'd start crying and I'd, I'd, uh, I'd get to the line, I, mean, I can't find the light. And I found it really hard. I could never sing that line and even saying the line I find it difficult to get a lump in your throat, you know. Um, because that's how I felt, that's where I was. Crying for answers and I can't find the light. I'm stuck there. I can't, I don't know where to look. After that it says, this is my song. I'll sing of your faithfulness and I'll sing of your love. And that was the, the part of the answer for me. Even though I can't find the light and I'm stuck here, I will sing of your faithfulness and sing of your love. So I would be flat all week. I'd come to church on a Sunday, sing these songs, and then find that I'm crying my eyes out when I've not able, been not able to feel things for years beforehand. And I didn't even know why I was crying. Because I had this image of being stuck in a hole, and then God's up there and saying, reach up to me and I'll help you out. But he's not up there saying, I'll help you out when you get up here. He's actually in the hole with you. And this song made me realize when I'm stuck down here crying for answers, he's down in the hole with me. He's been there the whole time and he's, he's not some distant God. He's actually saying, I want to help you from where you are. And that was really powerful to realise that when I was there. Again, the song it talks about how he reignites flames, how he heals broken hearts. And I had to accept that and then ask God, would you do that for me? Which was pretty difficult. People who were close to me didn't even know, not all of them knew that I was struggling with anything at all. And they would have said, I think, what are you talking about reignite flames? You're a strong person, you, you don't need that. But internally, um, I was really struggling and I found it very difficult even to come and kneel down before God and say, hey God, I need you to come and reignite these flames in me. I need you to, to heal my broken heart because I'm, I can't do this and I can't see how to do this. I don't know what the answer is, but you do. And so part of realizing that God is with me all the time was to be able to say, hey God, I need you to fix this. I need you to come into me and fix me on the inside because I'm not able to do it myself. I'm broken, I'm shattered, and only you can do that. The future that God has for us is, is hopeful and bright and full of all of our hopes and dreams. It's not something that's, you, you don't dread to go there. It's something that you look forward to. People that are in a similar situation or maybe you feel numb, my advice to you is don't be ashamed to say to God, I want to see you and, and seek him, chase him. Because as soon as you do that, you find that God's actually right there with you and he's saying, yes, now you've found me. Now we can start to build, now I can start to restore who you are and I can start to build in your heart and I can start to fix that, that broken heart. And that's, that's probably the best advice that I give you, could give you is to say, look for God. To do it wholeheartedly and openly and honestly.